Now we're going to build a circuit three with these two resistors right here. First we'll draw the schematic. These are going to now be in series where the other set was in parallel. And I'll make a little bit of space there. So we have an R1 resistor, R2 resistor, and we can see this is in series because as the current's flowing, it flows through one, then through the other series connection. Call this one R1 on the top, R2 is on the bottom. Now let's build the circuit. So we have two different resistors, and we'll call the bottom, well the big one will be R1, and then this little one right here will be R2. We connect our R1 to the red wire, the positive wire. Connect our R2 to the negative wire. And then I could put in another jumper wire in the middle. So we'll use this yellow wire to connect both of the resistors together. And we have our circuit right there. So you can see the circuit, if we arrange that a little bit better, right there. We have our power supply, red wire, red's connected to R1, yellow wire connects R1 to R2, R2 goes back to ground. And if we look at our power supply, we're still at 5 volts, and we're at 0.27 amps of current. So there's 0.27 amps of current going through this loop right here. And for this one, we want you to figure out the values of R1 and R2. And... If we didn't tell you one of those, you couldn't do that. You could figure out the equivalent of the pair of them, but you couldn't figure out just one. So we're going to tell you that R1 is a 10 ohm resistor. And your task is going to be to figure out what R2 is and figure out the power dissipated in the circuit. We could take out our infrared thermometer again, make some measurements. And we're getting about 30 degrees on R2. R1's going to probably be difficult to measure because it's small. Well, we got 45 degrees on there. I guess a maximum of 45 degrees. And just note those temperatures, and we might ask you something about those. So we know R1 is definitely warmer than R2, but notice the size of them are different. 